What's going on guys? Coming to you live from the pilot house. Well, this is the boat right here guys. This is where I kick it every day. Not just kidding. This is where I go chase the big game. And I chase all species, man. So when I say big game hunters, man, I chase big game bass, big game yellowtail, big game calicos, big game everything. I mean, like, who fishes with the mentality, I hope I catch a small one? Not me. Not us. Not never. Anyways, today's a big day, man. I got my first kite. Now, I'm not gonna take it out of the bag, but went and picked up two kites. Basically, 2014 was my last big game trip, and people invited me to go do overnighters and just some other day, just some one day fishing, and I wasn't interested. And uh, I did like the fact that uh, you know I'm spending all this money and uh, couldn't really do nothing with my family. I couldn't do a family vacation and a 15 day trip, and it was a lot of sacrifice involved. So I said, all right, you know what? I'm gonna start a business, I'm gonna start a company, and I'm not gonna fish until I make money for my company. I put all my energy and all my focus into a core offshore. Even though it's barely coming out, you know, I come from a construction background. I knew nothing about apparel, nothing about selling clothes, nothing about online marketing, nothing about websites. And I just got busy, man. Just got really busy. And just two or three days after work, just working, working my little heart out. Basically, I wanted to come to the day when I can fish when I want, not when I can. That's my whole philosophy. I want to fish when I want to fish, not when I can. Not when I have days off, not when the boss says you can go and the wife, you know, the wife's not gonna let me fish whenever I want. But if I'm making money, and if I got a business, and if my business is being on the water, marketing my company, I mean, it's a win-win in every situation. So the time has come, man. I never thought I was gonna get a boat this year. I knew I was gonna get a boat, for sure. I already had two boats. I was thinking, okay, I'll get a boat 2020, looking at my projections, but uh, boat fell on my lap. Literally fell on my lap. And here I am with a 2320 Parker. 250 Yamaha, I got all the big game gear, just got the kite, just got the yummies, and I'm gonna be chasing them. Now, I kinda pay my dues, you know? I don't know how much time I gotta spend on the water, but I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna do my due diligence and spend a lot of time on the water. You know, I'm gonna be out there, I'm gonna waste, wasting a lot of money, wasting a lot of gas. I don't expect to just walk on the scene and kill it. Much respect to everybody who's a captain and runs a boat. That's a whole different style of fishing. I know because I had two boats and I never once caught a game fish on it. All I could catch was calicos. So when I hear about a guy catching a yellowtail on a boat, like, well, either he's lucky or he knows what he's doing. And for the most part, guys who keep catching them know what they're doing. You know, fortunately I know a lot of people and people are uh, showing me some love and I got a good team around me and I'm coming for the big dogs. And when I say the big dogs, I mean, I'm basically, I'm coming for a SoCal record bluefin. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be fishing 500 pound top shots, nothing less, and I'm not gonna get desperate, <laughs> easy to say, but I'm coming for the big ones, guys. I ain't, I'm coming for the record. And that's on record, that I'm coming for the record. Will I get it this year? I might. I'm gonna be out, I'm gonna pay my dues. If I get it next year, I might. But I, may, I am gonna get it. That's my goal. I wanna wreck your fish. So I wanna, you know, them to say, yo, Ralph and the crew, they brought home a 400 pounder. They brought home the 500 pounder, the first one on the West. So that's what I'm out to do. This boat can handle it. And, uh, and I'm sure I can get it done.
forecast of what's coming for 2018. Gonna be focusing on summer apparel. Uh, this year I came out with the hoodies, came out with the hats, the patches, and uh, some, you know some tees, some long sleeves, and just gonna follow the footsteps of the legends out there who are involved in the community. And you know, I'm not trying to get rich out here, guys. I'm just trying to just uh, just follow some dreams, man, and just make stuff that I like for fishing. But anyways, I'm gonna take full advantage of the boat. I'm gonna take full advantage of my situation. I'm gonna take full advantage of my friends. I'm gonna take full advantage of these yummies. I'm gonna take full advantage of this flyer. And I'm gonna get busy, guys. So uh, I ain't taking that for granted. You know, I'm here to be an ambassador for you guys. You know, when you guys think of a core offshore, you guys can think of me, think of the crew. You know, I'm gonna be out here. No matter how big, no matter how small. I'm not afraid to go fish on the pier. I'm not afraid to go shore fish. I'm not afraid to go on the jetty and walk to the very last rocks like I used to growing up. You know, I'll do whatever it takes. But right now I got a Parker 2320 and it's loaded with gas. I got 150 gallons. I'm ready to rock, guys. Stay tuned. Peace.